people have actually looked at the external world and they see that there are many things that are potentially threatening uh, to their businesses, uh, to their homes and their communities. And I think this has really motivated people to take action and actually look to at least find answers about how they can educate themselves, what the issues are, which is kind of becoming aware of what they need to care about, and then actually doing something about it. We look at it for public-private partnership. So if you look on the public side, we've um, developed a number of stakeholders or participants um, in the process. Some of those are from, for example, the city of San Diego, um, the state of California, and uh, Department of Homeland Security at a federal level. So you really have the three different public sides available. And then there's many agencies that are involved in one way or the other. For example, we have a very active Department of Homeland Security organization embedded in the San Diego community, so they're participating on a local basis and then also at a federal level. On the private side, you have a number of uh, nonprofit and businesses that have become involved. Um, there's different segments of those. Some are interested in how it uh, impacts um, their users and customers. For example, uh, there's a lot of defense companies that have become involved because they're seeing this in their sort of work life, if you will. Um, other companies like Semper Energy, they actually are concerned about it because of the issue of critical infrastructure. How do we make sure that water and power is always running and that there's not a cyber attack that has an impact on that? Uh, in addition, you have um, other organizations such as schools, our academic universities in the area are involved, and it's really all those folks coming together, essentially sitting around the same table to put their, their you know, the best minds uh, to the task. whether it's the governments that actually help us organize ourselves, the businesses that actually provide the economic fuel um, to better the world in which we live in, or as individuals um, educating ourselves in our day-to-day -day lives, school kids. Um, it's really about all those folks coming together and sharing in the responsibility of cybersecurity. Because really, if you think about it, if one person, one business is a weak link in this process, it actually has the potential to undermine everything that everyone else is trying to do.